Okay, this cross step yoko tsumoyanagi, we're going to be moving laterally together in conjunction. So yes, in reality, it's feasible. This is a great setup. But no one's going to move 12 times with you laterally. So when you practice it, almost do it as a flow drill until you get those, those minor, minute reactions and understand where to take this, okay? So when I'm moving laterally with my partner, we're going to do a few laps, okay? We're just going to move, right? Balls of my feet. I'm not crossing my feet when I move sideways. I'm looking up. My butt is a little bit back. So is my uke. Right? That's it. All right, just so you understand, like, the fluidity of movements. We're going to use that momentum. It might not be six steps laterally. It might be one. It might be a half of one. It might be two. Usually it's about one and a half steps when I can take someone's momentum that they're naturally giving me and use it into this throw. Okay, so we're not going to try and stop the momentum. We're going to move laterally, and as I do it, I cross my feet. That's it. And I sit into my throw. I'm not really stopping. We're stopping him. So I'm moving laterally. Right on top. Perfect. Go back this way. So when we move, we just have to get ahead a little bit. It's hard to move sideways even one or two times and just fall because if he kept moving, he would have yes, right? So we have to just get a half a step ahead, and that's all we're practicing. It's crossing my feet. I know everyone says don't cross your feet, but we're doing a real setup. So it's like that with my footwork. So I'm crossing and throwing. Moving laterally. Right into position. Perfect. So that's something that should be practiced fast, should be practiced slow, be practiced with him knowing when I'm coming in, without him knowing when I come in. This is a good gauge to see how good you're doing with all the foundational movements, everything we practice to this point. Because now there's a lot of momentum, there's a lot happening. And we have to do this without stopping his momentum. So we have to have a clean movement. We can't add too much. We have to almost trim down the fat to get what's important here, okay? We're just adding a cross step to get ahead. That's it. We'll do double elbows this time. Sleeve of power, double elbows, whatever. We're moving laterally in conjunction with each other. I have to do something to get here before I attack. So I'm adding that cross step. Here. So, that is our lateral movements set up with a cross step. 